sinkerator. Yeah. And you and that in there is going to have decomposed matter. So when they come out at night, they have something to eat. It's in there. Gotcha. They found what they wanted. They're in the sewer system. So if you, if you're this right here, look at right here. Eric. Come down here with me. Yep. This is a common problem. See this P trap? Uh -huh. That's a U trap. Okay. This U trap serves a purpose to keep the odors from the sewers to coming into your house. It's full of water. Yeah. What happens, you leave for three to four days. The temperature in the house is in the 80s. Yeah. It'll dry. Roaches are easily going to come in through the sewer system because they're in the sewer system. Hmm. So they're going to come into your house through your pipes and you leave for a week. You're, people leave for vacation for a couple of weeks and they say, I found roaches in my house. I found dead roaches. How did they get in? That's how they got in. The path dried out and they came in. So how, how, how we can handle that? I mean, you need to run the water? Or right. Or, uh, if if water. you're going to be going on vacation, you either need to make sure you put a cap on them uh. and seal it and so that the roaches can't come out. In the case of your bathtubs and your sinks, they have that little um, uh, vent to allow for overflow. Okay. And you're going to have to seal that overflow because they'll make it through the overflow too. So, so yeah, toilets are a little bit hard. They can still go through water. Roaches can swim. Oh, wow. So they'll still go, but it makes it a lot harder. It's, it, that's an easy access point. So those are things that people need to look at in their home that, hey, that P-trap dries out, if, and you're going to notice it every single time, especially homes that have septic tanks over sewers because there's hundreds of thousands of them in your septic tank. So if you have a septic tank, you're going to have way more occurrences of American roaches, large roaches, in the home than if you have no septic tank. We go in a sewer system, and we open up that lid, or we pull out the lid, we can usually see them running in there and running across. We can usually spot them outside. So those are the things that people need to know is how do I prevent it is, you know, make sure that if you're going to go on vacation, that's, you know, uh, or somebody's running water. You know, you're somebody coming in and just run the water. People have bathrooms they don't use. They got four bathrooms in the house and they only use three and it never gets used. You start getting problems in there because water isn't running through. You can get flies, small flies, like uh, forage flies and uh, filth flies to come in through the sewer system because those pea traps are dry and they're in the sewer system. Yeah. So that's how people, how did I get this fly in my home? That It came in through the sewer system. You're not using that bathroom. 